welcome back. Um, so, still waiting on parts for both the Tester Stretter build, which is uh, under here. We needed some more shims. And I'm still waiting on my parts for the 7 r race build. So I just thought what I'd do is do a little bit of a brief video to explain the Tester Bassa head. Um, I've seen a number of questions around these over the years around what are they and what's the difference. Um, so what we've got here is a standard Desma Quattro head which would be found on everything from the AAA up to the 996 and every model in between. The bits that differentiate is size of valves that sit within these heads and on the 748 R head it's got slightly wider um, valve centers so it can get bigger bigger valves in and it also allows it to be able to run um, the R cams that have got slightly wider load profile than other engines. So the tester bassa so what does that mean? Uh, and you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is tessa or tester means head and bassa means low or short. So it's short head or low head, basically. Um, these were found on monsters more often than not. The reason for finding these on 748s is that Ducati looked to standardize the head production range. So the rest of the Superbike range had moved on to the 996R and then the 998 onwards and they were always using tester stretter heads and engines. What they had left was an anomaly in the 748 because it was uh, the last of the run using the Desmo Quattros and they weren't selling enough to keep justifying producing the two styles of Desmo Quattro heads. So what they did is they used the same castings they were using for the monsters that gave this lower head. You'll hear loads of theories about the reason was that they wanted to fit the later bodywork, etc., etc. But it's uh, my understanding is these heads actually started getting used from 2001 um, and still with some of the old bodywork, I believe. But this came off a 2002 model. Funnily enough, the bike that we're re rebuilding at the moment, but I don't. I'm not using these heads. And fundamentally, it has exactly the same combustion chamber set out. This one's all scabby and horrible because the previous owner had left it out in the rain. All that was different is the exhaust side of the head is lower. It has the same cams and cam profiles. It just has a shorter um, valve train on the exhaust side. And it was to give clearance on the monster range for the front wheel. So what does that mean for the 748? Well, not a great deal really. As you can see, there was never a clearance issue with the standard Desmo head anyway that was fitted to the 748. It's just that standardizing the castings, it gave Ducati a lot more options in terms of reducing cost of build and keeping the 748 running for another year whilst they looked at um, producing Obviously the 749 that came out much later. The other unique part for the uh, Tester Bassa engines is that they had a single piece primary pipe. So it is interchangeable. I just prefer having the separate manifold and primary pipe because it's a little bit easier to fit. But they had a single one piece welded all the way through. Um, and that's, that's unique to the later engines. Again, probably a cost option just to keep the cost of manufacturing down. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is the only unique piece around the Tester Bassa engine is the heads. All of the bottom end is the same. So it uses the same cases, it uses the same crank, comrods, pistons, gearbox, alternators, everything like that. The only piece that's unique on the Tester Bassa is the head. It is all about the head. So what is what is unique around the Tester Bassa and not really interchangeable with the standard Desmo heads? Well, one is the center cam covers that hold in the pinions for the arms. 
they're obviously a five bolt pattern are shaped differently to account for the slope going down in the head so you can't change them the valves are obviously shorter as well and the arms inside are slightly different as well so anything on the exhaust valve train you can't use and these external cam covers in the center the five bolt pattern everything else is pretty much usable if you so chose to um, tuning limitations wise not my area of expertise because i just tend to build engines um, but my understanding is the ports are the same it's only the valve train so you should be able to tune it in the same way you would a standard biposto engine obviously the combustion chamber is the same as a standard 748 so you could do the same work in there and then the valve size is all the same the cam has a slightly different number to it but it's the same profile so again is usable as well so um, and then the only other pieces that are worth mentioning you have the cutout for when you take off the head this just gives you better access to get your uh, head tool onto the nuts so that you can take those off you tend to find with the earlier engines because this is not machined out of the back sometimes the tool can just get stuck between the nut and the actual head and it makes it slightly more awkward to get it removed so a little quick a little technical update just to keep you all ticking along while I'm waiting for parts that is effectively the test of bass ahead hope you enjoyed this short and prompt video if you did give us a like down below if you've got any questions or comments around the test of bass heads then please feel free to ask below if you're not a subscriber would welcome you as a subscriber to the channel and uh, please keep checking in for more content all right see you later cheers for now bye